Hi students welcome back to English class let's continue with the chapter the blue bee part 6 so before we proceed let's have a recap on the chapter so in the previous class we were learning about the women going to collect the paper grass so let's see what they did the women first of all they reached the shore then they started crossing the shore by shouting and quarreling and in that river they left a mugger crocodile but afraid of noise he did not move then finally we find the women climbing the hill and they started collecting the paper grass so what was sibia doing or what were the works done by sibia over there sibia was working but at the same time she was sweeping in the wings she was swooping in the wings of her imagination She also wanted to visit the cave lid to check her little clay bowls. So while others were returning, she crept into the cave lid. And as a result, when all started the journey, she was left there in that paper cliff all alone. So let's read the remaining When she was half way over she put her load down on a big boulder to rest and leaned breathing on the fork so when she was coming back she was really tired so when she was half way over she put a load down on a big boulder to rest and leaned back breathing and leaned breathing on the fork so it means that or author says or what the author means here is that she was totally tired at the same time a gujar woman came down with two guras or to the water on the si- on the other side so it was at the same time she happened to notice a gujar woman coming with two guras in her hand guras means pots in order to take water from the river in order to get good clear water she would quickly fill both garas to the top without sand she walked on to the stepping stone so this gujar woman wanted to collect very clear water from the river so in order to get the best water from the river or very clear water what she did was that she entered into the river so that she can get good clear water without any sand in it so in order to collect it she walked on to the stepping stone so she was entering into the deep part of the river rather than collecting water from the nearby shore or the shallow part why did she move inside or why did she climb the stepping stone is that she wanted to collect the clear water without any sand and it is possible only from the deeper part of the river she was within a yard of the crocodile when he lunged at her so when she w- moved through the stepping stone or when she entered into the deeper part of the river what happened was or uh, the plight of the woman was she was within a yard of the crocodile she was getting closer to the mugger crocodile who was residing in the river when he lunged at her so when the crocodile found this lady approaching near what the crocodile did was he lunged at her lunged we can write the meaning to thrust forward with force to thrust forward with force to thrust forward with force up so what the crocodile did was finding a human being approaching he thrust it her up out of the darkling water he the great rep- reptile so the author is telling how the crocodile made its entry up out of the darkling water now the water has become dark or it is getting black because it's night time so from the dark water he the great rep- reptile came this crocodile what a slashing of him his livid jaws yawning and all his teeth flashing as he slashed at her so he came out from that water water slashing of him slashing means splashing splashing and his livid jaws yawning so he is a cruel reptile 
so as a result his jaws is picturized as a livid jaws yawning livid means angry angry jaws yawning or making the sound and all his teeth flashing and the teeth is clearly visible and he slashed at her leg slashed again it is an action slash means it is a sweeping movement or moving fast towards her leg so from the water entered the reptile he came slashing slashing means with this flashing splashing he came out and one could find his jaws which was very which looked very angry and he was slashing at her at her the woman screamed dropping both the brass pots with a clatter on the boulder from whence they bounced to the water and sibia saw them bob away in the current who oh, the two good vessels gone so the woman screamed after all it is a reptile attacking the woman so the woman screamed loud drop both the brass pots with a clatter on the boulder so out of her fear she dropped both the brass pots in that a uh, river and it went down with a clattering sound because it got uh, it uh, struck the boulder or the rock from whence they bounced to the water and from there it is bouncing back into the river see a very good description is given even for a uh, minute details and simia saw them bob away in the current so what sibia saw is finally the garras or the brass pots bobbing away bobbing away means bouncing away in the water oh the two good vessels gone so sibia thought my god two good vessels floating in the water it's gone for ever the gujar woman recoiled from the crocodile but as jaws but as jaws closed on her leg at the same time as she slipped and fell on the bone breaking stone and clutched one of the timber logs to save herself so gujar woman is not like any ordinary woman of city or town she is after all born and brought up in the forest so they know how to survive they know how to fight with the animals so this gujar woman she recoiled from the crocodile she tried to save ursel from the cro- crocodile but was it possible but his jaws closed on her legs but he but this crocodile got a very good hold on her legs and at the same time she slipped and fell on the bone breaking stone moreover the woman got hurt it by falling on a bone breaking stone and clutched one of the timber logs to save herself even then she is not willing to die so she clutched herself on the timber log in order to save herself even though her leg was clo- closed inside the jaw of the crocodile the crocodile has got a good hold on the leg of this gujar woman but even then she is not willing to uh, die she is trying to save herself by clutching on the timber logs the log jammed between the two boulders with the woman clinging to it and screaming while the crocodile pulled on a leg threshing his mighty tail bang bang to and fro in great smacking flails as he tried to drag her free and carry her hog off into the deeps of the pool so the log jammed between the two boulders we know what the woman was doing was she has clutched herself on the timber log but what happened to the log the log has got jammed between the two boulders with the woman clinging to it and screaming while the crocodile pulled on her leg at the same time since her leg was inside his jaw the crocodile was pulling the leg of the lady threshing is mighty tail threshing threshing means you know what's threshing threshing means revolving or uh, twisting the tail as a result the water and everything and moreover his tail is really a very deadly one it causes might inj- much injury or pain to the victim so he was threshing threshing means revolving his mighty tail 
bang bang to and fro in great smacking flails let us get another action smacking flails means to deliver a good blow to someone blowing at someone giving a good blow to someone with the tail it was giving smacking flails as he tried to drag her free and the main aim of the crocodile was to make the woman uh, loosen her hand from the clutches of that lox so that he could drag her free and carry her off into the deeps of the pool now the only solace of this woman was uh, she has caught herself on the lox between the boulders right so what the crocodile is doing is he is trying the woman to uh, get rid of that hold so that he can drag her free off into the deeps of the pool blood spread everywhere so there was much injury caused for this woman as a result one could find blood being spread everywhere sibya sprang so sibya happened to find all these so what did sibya do sibya sprang she jumped or she was coming forward sprang in or jumping with might we know what was the plight of sibya when she was returning after collecting the paper grass she was dead tired right but she didn't mind it much she wanted to help this woman so she sprang from boulder to boulder she came leaping leaping means jumping like a rock goat like a rock goat she was jumping sometimes it had seemed difficult to cross these stones especially the big gap in the middle where the river goes through like a bulge of glass so author is telling it's not very easy to jump from boulder to boulder because in certain areas these stepping stones were kept far apart sometimes it had seemed difficult to cross these stones especially sometimes there is a big gap especially in the middle region of that river and the way the river goes like a bulge of grass glass but now she came on wings but all these were not endurance for our heroic sibia she came like as if she had wings choosing a footing in the mid air without even thinking about it and in one moment she was designed the shrinking woman so within a few moment moment she was near beside that shrinking woman or the woman who was crying loud for help in the boiling water the face of the crocodile fastened round her leg was tugging to and fro and smiling so what sibia witnessed when she went close is that the entire water was boiling it was a bloody water or the or the water seemed to be very bloody when or it is red in color the face of the crocodile fastened round her leg was tugging to and fro tugging to and fro means pulling something hard it was pulling the woman's body hard and smiling his eyes rolled on sibia so when sibia went near this crocodile or near this gujar woman in order to help her his eyes rolled on sibia the crocodile so sibia or his eyes moved towards sibia one slap of tail could kill her sibia we know that she is only a very small girl so one slap of this crocodile's one slap of the crocodile's tail is quite enough to kill sibia he struck so he gave one strike up shot the water 20 feet and fell like a silver chain so the crocodile gave a slap in water in knowledge of pride sibia so what was the result water rise up up to 20 feet i and it came down like a silver chain again he did it once more the rock jumped under the blow this time it's not only the water even the rock jumped up because of the ferocious blow given by the crocodile but in the daily heroism of the jungle as common as a thorn tree sibia did not hesitate but did all these frighten us sibia 
No, she is a girl who is born and brought up in the jungle. She is born and brought up in the jungle. So for Sibia, all these are the part of her daily life. So she did not hesitate. She didn't mind all these. She really wanted to help that Gujar woman. She aimed at the reptile's eye. So she decided to fight with the reptile. So what she aimed was the eye of the reptile. Before you have learned, it's very difficult to kill the reptile. If you want to kill it, you should touch or you should attack the sensitive part of its body. Which is a sensitive part of its body? It's, it is his eyes. With all the force of her little body, she drove the hay fork at the eyes and one prong went in, right in, while its fear scratched part of the horny cheek. So, the weapon which Sibia had in her hand at that moment was a hair, a hay fork. A fork is just like uh, a normal fork. A fork has got many uh, thick, uh, I mean uh, very pointed edges, right? Many thin, thin pointed edges together make a fork, right? It's not a single piece. So, somewhat like that is a hay fork, or hay fork also. So, what Sibia did is that with a hay fork, she directed a hay fork towards the eye of the crocodile and one edge of that fork entered right into his eyes and what did the other pair do it scratched past his only cheek the crocodile reared up in convulsion so it hurt a crocodile a lot so he reared up in convulsion convulsion means it gave a Violent or irregular movement. Convulsion means irregular movement. Till half his lizard body was out of the river and tail and noise, and sorry, and tail and nose nearly meeting over a stony back. So there is a withdrawal sign shown by the crocodile. What did Sibia do? She attacked the eyes of the crocodile with the help of a hay fork. And one edge or the one prong of the hay fork entered his own cheek also. So what was the sudden reaction of the crocodile? The crocodile reared up in convulsion. Convulsion means it is giving a violent or irregular movement. And the tail and nose nearly meeting over a stony bank. So uh, till half the lizard body was out of water and tail and nose nearly meeting over a stony bank. Then he crashed back, so it was withdrawing back, exploring the water. And in an uproar of bloody form, he disappeared. So it really hurted the crocodile. So we find him disappearing now. So that was the great deed or the adventurous deed done by, or a heroic deed done by Sibia. So we find the crocodile withdrawing now. He would die. So author is telling. So he would die. The crocodile would die. Not yet but presently though his death would not be known for days. Not till his stomach blown with gas floated him. So author is telling. Definitely. Uh, she has uh, finally uh, touched the most sensitive part of the crocodile's body. So that is quite enough that too with a hay fork. So it is quite enough to kill the crocodile. So author is telling he would die. Definitely the crocodile would die. Not yet but not all of a sudden though his death would not be known for days. And moreover death of this mugger crocodile will not be known for many days. Not till his stomach blown with gas floated him. So we will come to know the death of the crocodile only when its stomach burst open. And finally he will be floating on the water. Then perhaps he would be found upside down among the logs at the timber boom with pus in his eyes. And when you find the crocodile few days later, 
what you are going to find is the crocodile will be lying upside down among the logs. We know the logs, no? The sleepers which one could find on the river? Yeah, on the top of those logs one can find the dead body of this crocodile lying upside down. And also, if you check it properly, you can find the pus coming from its eyes. Or there will be an infection near its eyes. What has caused infection near the eyes of the crocodile? It was the attack made by Sibia using the hay fork. So one could find the pus coming from its eyes. Sibia got her arms around the fainting woman and somehow dragged her from the water. So after this, so what Sibia did was she got her arms around the fainting woman. She carrying the woman. The woman was fainting because she has lost a lot of blood from her body. Right. And somehow with her might, with all her might, she dragged her from the water. She stopped the wounds with a sand. And what is the medicine used by Sibia to stop a wound was using sand. After all, they are tribals, right? And bound them with a rag. And she is covering the wounds of this lady. The lady was bleeding. She covered the wound with the sand and bound, use, and bound the wound using the rag piece of cloth which she has got in her hand. And helped her home to the Gujar encampment. And she helped her to go back to the Gujar encampment where the men made a litter to carry her to someone for treatment. And as soon as she was taken to the Gujar encampment, men over there carried her in a litter. You know what's litter? Litter is a stretcher like, it is somewhat, it works like a stretcher. That is in the hospital we have got stretchers to carry the patients, no? Somewhat an instrument or uh, something which works like a stretcher is what we call as litter. So in the litter, this woman was carrying carry to someone for treatment. That is, they decided to carry the woman to one of the person who could treat her. Then Sibia went back for her grass and sickle and fork. Then Sibia, just uh, as, uh, in a very cool manner or in a very casual manner, after doing such a great heroic deed, she went back to collect her grass, sickle and fork. She wanted to go back home, right? So she collected all her sickle, sickle grass and fork. The fog was lying in the river, not carried away. Luckily, as she bent to pick it up out of water, she saw the blue weed. So she was quite lucky enough to get the fork back. Actually, she gave a strike on the crocodile's eye with that fog. But luckily, this fog was lying in the river itself, not carried away. So she bent to pick it up out of water. So she wanted to get that fog. So she bent down in order to pick it from the water. It was then she saw the blue weed. So till now this blue weed didn't make any entry in our story. Only thing which we came to know about the blue weed was the blue weed lying in the water. In the beginning when author gave a very good description about the uh, crocodile, about the uh, forest and so, she has given a description about the blue weed also. What she said was that it was not a gem. You remember? It was not a gem. It was a sand wound glass that had been rolling about in the river for a long time. You remember that? Maybe it was the bottle of the neck perhaps. That was what the author said about the blue weed. So now when she bent down in order to pick the hay fork, she happened to find this blue weed again. Not blue now. Because it was dark, it didn't appear to be blue now, with the sun nearly gone, because the sun had already gone now. But a no color, white color. So now it seems to be like somewhat a white blue color. And its shape wobbling in the movement of the stream. So because of the moving water in the stream, it seems to show a wobbling movement. She reached her arm down into a yard of the cold silk water to get it. So Sibia, she was really happy to find a blue weed because it was the greatest desire to wear a necklace, right? So 
she reached her arm down so she reached her arm down into a yard of cool water to get it missing it first of all because of the refraction when she tried to get the blue bead at first she missed it because of refraction you know what's refraction no because of refraction we might have a feeling that the blue bead which you find at one place will be you will be uh, putting your hand somewhere else in order to get the bead like a uh, refraction of coin in the water and so you know it well right then there it lay in a wet palm perfect even pure's ready for use with the sunset shuffled about inside it like a gold dust so when she took it in her hand what she noticed it even there is a hole pierced in it so she can use it very properly all a heart went up in flames of joy so finding this asubia was very very happy after a bit she twisted it into the top of a skirt against her tummy so she would know if it burst through the poor cloth and fell so it was a great treasure for sibia what was the greatest treasure for sibia it was that blue bead so where is sibia keeping this blue bead in the tummy she kept in the top of a skirt against her tummy so that she could know if ever it is falling down then she picked up a fork and sickle and heavy grass and set off home so after that she was moving back to her home ai hi what a day so she was out of happiness she was saying she was ex- exclaiming ho oh, what a green day i got today her bare feet smudged out the wriggled marks of snakes in the dust there was a thing singing of malaria mosquitoes among the trees now and the strag was much used at night by the moros old makna elephant the tasteless one but sibia was not thinking of any of them the stars came out she noticed so her bare feet smudged out of the wriggle mark of snake in the dust so she was moving through the track where the snakes have covered smudge means it was all covered with uh, it has become messy with dust she was moving through the uh, track covered by the snakes and so and one could hear the singing of malaria mosquito of course it is a typical sound of indian forests and this track was much used at night by the moros old makna elephant so according to author this is the track used by tuskless elephants especially at night makna elephant means tuskless elephants especially at night one can encounter tuskless elephants in, in that on the track but sibia was not thinking any of them but she didn't mind all this the stars came out she noticed and now even the stars started coming out meaning that it was getting dark on the way back she met her mother out of breath come to look for her and scolding so when she was near to her home she found a mother approaching out of breath she was really tense came to look for her and scolding so when she found sibia she started scolding i did not see till i was own that you were not there so mother was telling i didn't notice that you were missing till i reached to i thought something must have happened to you so mother is telling i thought something bad might have happened to you and sibia bursting with a story cry something dead so sibia was telling to her mother of course mother something happened to me i found a blue bead for my necklace look so sibia was showing the blue bead which she has which she has kept very safe near to her tummy so she is showing it to her mother and telling of course mother i found a blue bead for my necklace you look at it so that uh, sibia narrated the great heroic task which she had done in the forest did she reveal it to her mother no for sibia the act of saving that woman was not a great thing she is not proud of saving the life of woman but at the same time this poor girl she was so excited to get a blue bead it was that thing 
that became the major part of that day for Sivya. That is getting a blue weight. It was not at all the heroic deed of saving the woman. Understood? So, we have come to the end of this chapter. And in the next class, we will begin with new chapter. So, till we meet again, goodbye.